What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to go back into creating a 5M framework. We have made some changes on the base that we are going to go over and sort of show you what everything has happened. So we're going to start off with our client side. Uh, we have a new export here where uh, <clears throat> it will get our client's data here. So this export, uh, I'll sort of explain it in Lua because that's what most people uh, will be coding in. Uh, not too many of switch to TypeScript as I'm aware. So we have a export of get player data. And what this does, basically I'm gonna run you through how it works. Um, so when you're gonna call it, so you're gonna do local P equals um, exports, and then you're gonna do your MP dash base, and then our colon of get player data and we're going to get the type in here. So <clears throat> in this case, we got to add these as well. Uh, so in this case, uh, we want to understand what this is. So when you're labeling things, usually you do P. P uh, that's how I just described player. So if we want to get the player's job, I would name it P job, right? And in here, since this is client side, uh, you don't have to get a source. So we're going to just pass through job in here. Uh, and it's how it's labeled, so it would be un it would be uh, not capitalized, as that's how it's saved. <clears throat> um, so basically, what this ends up doing is it'll go through here. It'll get our client's pay, uh, player data through our source right here. Uh, if you don't, if it doesn't find someone, it'll print test. Or I mean, if it finds someone, it'll print test, which we can remove. Else, player no. Right. So then it describes. It goes into this player and then it grabs the data type so this data type we're passing through gets the player so we're passing through job so it's going to get player dot job this is how it works and basically it returns this so p job would then equal player dot job um, which would return to what job they currently are and that's basically how you would end up using that um, all right going into our server events we have a couple of things here um, so we actually have an export now for get player, uh, and that's just because a lot of times it's easier to make the export for people to understand. So this is a lot easier for new developers to just sort of type in uh, local player and then equals export right here, right? And since this is a server side, we will need to pass a source through this, and basically then it does the same thing as get player. So then you'd be able to call player dot data dot job uh, for an example. And that's basically the get player. Get player is the same as the function get player. Uh, just exports are a little easier for new people because they get to see where it's coming from and how everything really works. Um, so just a little easier. Um, so we'll go down to our get player data right here. So this works the exact same as our client side, except you're gonna need a uh, source for this. So we're gonna have to pass a source through just to make sure we're getting the right player. And then uh, basically it does the whole get player function right in it, but then we'll return the specific data type you want. So if you wanted a local player job, uh, you could just switch this to job. And basically it would return uh, just whatever their job is, to make it really simple. Um, lastly, we have our set player data. So this one's a little bigger. Um, so this one, you don't need to set to local because it doesn't return anything. So there's no reason to set it for a local. It's going to be a quick video, just running through all the changes that have happened. So basically, we're going to call all of this, right? Now, this has a couple things to it. And we'll go into the function and how it works really later um, because that's what, that's what the whole player's function is for. Um, okay, so basically you would call this, get a source, and your data type. So this is what data type you want to uh, change in the database. So since this is a user, um, say we wanted to change the job. Since the job, uh, the job has two different types of data. So data, data new utility data is the grade of the job. And this is sort of how it works. So if you want to be set to police, you could do this and the grade. So this was set to police grade. Uh, usually this new util data actually doesn't matter if we're just setting 
<clears throat> something like first name. Then this new util data does not matter. And we'll go run you through this, how this works. So basically it sets to a player function, which is right here, sets new data, grabs data type and everything. So then we have an if statement, if it's not nil, and then it just detects if it's a job first, because if it's a job, then the new util data is needed. But if it's not a job, it's not needed. So if it's not a job, it just goes right here and it will set, um, <clears throat> it will update your data, which is self and then data. And we'll go into our function of updating data, which should be right here. Yeah. So we'll grab player data and then if player data, it will update the query and update into your SQL. And then when it's all done with that, we will trigger a client data for setting our character's data and then it's all set. And that's basically all the changes that have happened.